Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. Okay, we have Mercury in the third house of Pisces. Very interesting. That's communication with the spirit world right there. Mercury is the messenger of the gods. Mercury is communication. The third house is Gemini's house, also ruled by Mercury. And Pisces is the spiritual world. It's the last house. It's the last sign before Aries. Okay, that's where like things connect back again. Okay, it's something here. There's strong communication here with the spirit world. Eight of Wands energy concentration. Traveling the message getting across. Look. Mercury is in this card too. Can you see that? Mercury. Mercury in Sagittarius. Mercury is on this card. It's about travel. It's about something getting there or something being heard, something being understood, something being quick. Okay, let me get something here. We have the Eight of Cups, 88. Eight of Cups energy. Walking away very quickly, getting away very quickly, perhaps. Going deeper spiritually is another thing, like within your communication. Like you may start seeing something, hearing something, feeling something. The Knight of Sword is the communicator. That's Mercury once again. But I feel like this is incoming. This is like a message that's incoming. That's going to take you deeper into your communication, your spiritual communication. We have the six of swords here, rite of passage. Hmm. It's like something works. Something is the answer. Something takes you away from, I don't know if it's the problems, issues. Like your communication with the spirit world. And we have the nine of cups. It works. It went from the eight of cups to the nine of cups. It could have been something that you were directed to do or something that I don't know if you said this or you were trying to manifest this. Is someone here that focused their energy on something and they had to go deeper and it worked? Let me get something here. This must be a confirmation reading for someone. We have the nine of Pentacles, 99. So we got 88. We got 99. OK, and then we got 69. I feel like the shit done flipped. Let me get something here because of your communication with the spirit world. And we have the star. Yes, it has. Yes, it has flipped or this shit is about to flip. It's something about your communication. I don't know what the hell you said, what you did. It's like you have some type of <laughs> it's something here like that. There's someone feeling a certain type of way about this three of sword. I don't know what you did, but you dished out something. You could have even made somebody else walk away. It could have been you walking away. But this was the right answer. Somebody listened to their spirit guides. The communication is good. We have page of pentacles energy here. This is about planting some type of seed, going a new direction. OK, seeing the work like, um, you know, like when you go to school to be a doctor, you know you're going to be in school for a long time. So it's like you're looking at the land and there's no crops. And you know that, okay, I got to start here now. I got to do this now. Mm-hmm. It's the beginning here. 
Look, Eight of Pentacles. I guess somebody's not starting at the complete beginning. Somebody is very good at whatever they do. Somebody's very gifted, very talented, but they're still at the beginning. Let me get something here. And that's that's a good thing to be gifted and talented at be, and be at the beginning. That means there's a lot more to learn and you can take more advantage of it. Because you're already how can I say this? You're already good at something or whatever this is, you're already good at it. You already have a grasp, a grip on what it is that you do. Therefore, your concentration can be on something else or it's like you can have a deeper communication I don't know if I hope I'm explaining it right. Like it's it's kind of like multitasking, but it's not like, let's say you already know how to cook or so. I don't know. I can't even give an example because it's such a deep thing. What I'm saying right now, you're going to be able to take deeper advantage of something because you already are good at something. Therefore, it's like you're going to have a deeper experience than most because you have a piece that others don't and that's what makes you a star right here a chosen one that's what makes you that and it went it goes it's eight of pentacles right here nine of pentacles right here it's like promised it's something about you focusing on it you concentrating on it and it's going to become something can't nobody take from you and you're at the beginning willing to learn open eyes ambitious there's a lot with it there's a lot with it you know other people in page of pentacles energy they they're not in eight of pentacles energy i'm just saying it's something different about you your communication your connection your something here like it's it's outer worldly we have the hierophant energy look at this Half man, half God. Mm -hmm. Somebody with some type of authority or spiritual authority, some type of teacher, perhaps. The, there I go again, choking. We have we have the page of Pentacles here, the eight of Pentacles. It could even be some type of new opportunity in a career like with somebody that has a title with somebody that knows what they're doing it could also be a pisces it's something here that's meant to connect you back to who you are it's a communication it's a deep communication it's something it could even be somebody that feels you or their spirits talk to them you know people have spirits and they don't even know it they be having spirits they don't even know it. your spirits be helping you all the time and you don't even know it spirits be guiding and look at the high priestess down here Mm hmm. The spirits be guiding you to what you're supposed to do. And sometimes you listen, sometimes you don't. But I feel like this is a this is a situation where everybody involved, they listen. Everybody involved in this, they listen. Because it's something undeniable with the star. And then we have the King of Cups water sign here. Just like Pisces is a water sign. And it's right underneath the Six of Swords here. This is like passage. Like when they open the door for you, like when you go in the club and you see that long ass line and you walk up to the door and they open the door for you and they, they pull the little red rope and they close that shit back up after you walk in because everybody else got to still wait in the line. That's what I'm talking about here. It's something like that. Like what is this communication? It could even be a communication that's going on behind the scenes, but it's something that's very, very deep. Something that's very... It's going to connect you back to something here. It's going to connect you back to something. Or it could be, did I say it's people talking about you? It could be that too. Spiritual world or the unseen world. And just because you don't see it don't mean it's not happening. We got the queen of pentacles here. Oh yeah, somebody is going to be blessed. Somebody's going to have a good job. Somebody's about to have whatever they need. And it's about to grow. Yeah, we have the Ace of Sword here. See, this communication is going to, I feel like it's something that's going to get to you. It's a communication that may be happening in a spiritual way. It may be happening behind closed doors. It may be happening in the unseen world, but it's going to get back to you. Something is going to be communicated. It's going to be, it's going to get back to you. It's going to be understood. 
and we have the Knight of Pentacles here. You're going to be working towards something. I'm almost getting the energy of someone that could be like working under someone. Like someone's going to mentor you or something like that. They could be seeing, is this a good idea? There could be conversations that's being had to see if this is something that's, it's something here like that. Let me get something with this page of Pentacles here. Okay, what is this? We have the Two of Swords. Maybe where something was not possible, it's about to be possible. Or like I said, this is that communication that you don't see is happening. Or maybe you're asking for this. Maybe you're manifesting it because it's something about communicate. I don't know if it's the spiritual world or you just can't see what's taking place. We have the Ace of Wands here. Very good. It's, it's underneath the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is very good at what they do. Very good. You may not even know. You may not even know there's these conversations being had. And look, we got the Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, if somebody wants to change your life, this communication is going to come through. It's like you can't see it, but we got the Four of Pentacles here. This is financial stability. This is having some type of job or like being safe in something. Let me get something with this Queen of Pentacles. Oh, we have the Eight of Sword. Now, that could be a contract also with this Four of Pentacles and Eight of Sword. It could be something binding. And we have the Two of Pentacles as some type of exchange where two people are getting something here. That's a funny way to put it, but I like that. I like that energy better than the Devil card coming out because the Devil card can also represent a contract. But it's like, you know, there's other things with that. But the Four of Pentacles, it is something being held on to. This is financial security. You see how he's sitting on it and he got it under his feet and he got the city behind him and he's sitting in the chair. Yeah, that's financial security right there. And then this Eight of Sword is could be something that's binding. It could be something that, you know, it has a few details in there. And then the Two of Pentacles is some type of exchange here. Some type of exchange. Could even be collaboration. Let me get something here. We have the Knight of Wands energy here. Wow. The Star, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. This is not only within your purpose. It's like you're going to receive abundance from this. You're good at something. You may not know how good you are at it, but you're so good at it that somebody wants to pay you or change your life or bring you closer or... Have you signed some kind of contract where both of y'all are benefiting from it? And I believe that this is something that you could have manifested. It's, I feel like it's something about your communication. I don't know if your cries, your tears. I don't know what it is. What's this at the bottom? We got the hermit energy here. Virgo energy. Virgo energy here. Someone here that's turning within. They're going on an inner journey. Or they're doing something by themselves. Let me get something here. We have the Queen of Sword. Queen of Sword is very knowledgeable also. Queen of Sword knows her shit. She knows the rules. She knows the facts. We have the Three of Pentacles. She's, I guess she's a good team member then. Because she sticks to, like Queen of Sword sticks to what they're supposed to do. There is no wavering, you know, think of like a judge. There is no wavering. This is a team member, Three of Pentacles. This is working on a team to have some type of goal. And they, whoever this is, they feel like you are very skilled. You're skilled enough to be on some type of team working for a specific goal. Let me get something here with this Three of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay. Now, this could be the person that's given a job. This could be the transition from being a queen of swords to a queen of pentacles. You could be somebody that just goes from knowing the information to prospering from the, informa from the information. We have the strength card here, Leo energy. Okay. It seems like some type of test. Some type of test. You got to pass some type of test. But Queen of Sword knows her shit. Look, Knight of Pentacles, you're going to pass. You're going to pass. Flying colors. You're going to pass. You're going to move forward. 
is some type of test. Like, you know, it's even that kind of energy where you have to work under somebody for a certain period of time or you got to do something for a certain period of time. That's what I'm also getting here. Let me get something with this. We have the four of wands energy. Yes, rite of passage, solid energy, stable energy, somebody that is achieving some type of goal. And now we have the tower. This is amazing. The tower here is very shocking. It's destroying somebody's foundation. It feels like a whole different level of job or a whole different level of collaboration. We have the emperor. You see what I'm saying? This is a real transition here. I don't know who you're talking to, who wants to talk to you, who's trying to communicate with you. I feel like even your spirit guides are on board with whatever it is that you focus on, whatever it is that you want to go towards. But I feel like there's somebody that's going to come in and show you which way to go or something like that. Like they want to work with you. They may have always wanted to work with you or something like that. I don't know. We have the Knight of Wands energy here. Okay, fiery energy. We got the Knight of Wands out here twice. In your purpose. And we have the Eight of Cups again. Going deeper emotionally, spending time. I feel like someone is going to spend time doing something and they're going to get a lot of experience and it's going to be a stepping stone. It's like you're a star. I don't know what it is that you do, but there's a lot of people out here that have been doing something, let's say, a long time. They're very good at what they do and they deserve either the help or... You know, to be taken under somebody's wing, some type of mentor, somebody that, ah, man, I feel like it's coming for somebody because it's time. Look, Ten of Sword, it's time. It's time to put an end to an old mindset, something old like you used to believe this about your life. It's something you used to believe about your life. It's not true. That's being put to an end. We have the five of pentacles. Yeah, no more. It's like no more broke or no more broke days or no more needing. No more. It's something like it's very serious. This communication will change everything. Like someone look justice. I about to say somebody is about to get the key. And then justice comes out. This is what you deserve. It seems to me that this is what you worked for. Look, closing out the cycle, an old world. This is over. There's things that cannot come with you. Look, nine of wands, very spiritually strong here, very spiritually protected, has been through a lot. It's like it's someone that's ready to move on, someone that's ready to have more. And look, Eight of Pentacles, once again, somebody that's very talented, very gifted, and have they have an ability. This is like a career. They have an ability to create and grow and multiply. They have that ability, and they use it. And it's like manifesting something. And you see how she's holding a candle also? It's like she's manifesting from the things that she's creating or the things that she has already created or he, you know, let me get an angel message here. We have compassion. Wow. I feel like it's a D it's something deep in someone's heart. Like maybe they really had beliefs that were not true. Maybe they were true just for a moment, but things change. You know, especially when you're leaving an old world, you're leaving an old identity, you're leaving an old attachment. It's not going to be the same story, not going to be the same rules. And it says courage and bravery. Somebody's being rewarded for their work. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much 
for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.